Welcome to the IPSE Commander's Course. In this video series, we will show you how to access IPSE. There are multiple ways you can log on to IPSE. To sign in on any device using a CAC reader, simply insert your CAC and follow the instructions you see on your screen. When selecting a certificate, make sure you select your email certificate. To sign in on a device without a CAC reader, like a smartphone, tablet, or personal computer, you can use a DS logon, username, and password. Keep in mind that updating member data can only be done when accessing IPSE using a CAC. During fielding, the IPSE program will grant system access based on pre-deployment coordination with each state and territory. As part of IPSE's deployment sequence, you will automatically be provisioned with commander access after completing this video series. Every soldier will be given access to their personal self-service homepage. After deployment, users who complete the required training can request elevated IPSE access. Requests are placed and submitted through the Access Request tile found on the self-service homepage. Once the request has been placed, it is processed by a validator of the user's organization. Be sure to review the self-service video in this series so that you will be in the know with what everyone can see in IPSE. User accounts are locked after 60 days of inactivity. However, self-service access is never locked. You will always have self-service access even if you have not logged into IPSE in 60 days. In order to restore your elevated access, you will have to submit a new access request or ask your validator to submit an access request on your behalf. Dual status technicians or military personnel who work in a civilian capacity who require access to IPSE must have a second CAC. This allows separation of military and civilian roles, proper permissions, and auditability. Dual persona users will log into IPSE and use the appropriate CAC or PIV certificate for the persona of the CAC in the CAC reader. The persona is either soldier, civilian, or contractor. Dual role refers to a soldier who uses IPSE in both a full-time and M-Day position. These users will receive the highest level of permissions within their two roles. This concludes how to access IPSE. The next video will cover the iHub in IPSE. IPSE will soon be the new standard in all HR actions, and you need to fully understand its capabilities. Stay with us through the series for step-by-step -step instructions on specific tasks within IPSE. IPSE is here, one soldier, one record, one army.